guess what? I bought the cheapest gaming PC on Amazon, Dad. Baka. Let's get into it. Skip it up and dad up. Hey everybody, it's the time of year to get crap for your loved ones. And what else would be crappier than getting a cameo for me? For, for me. Come on, man. Get get your birds, get your family, get your dad, get your uncle, Cucumbers. get your cat. Get, get the ones you love in your life. A cameo from Review Tech USA. I get paid. It's a third off for the holiday season. I make money and you get me to say stupid crap. Come on, man. I'm a middle-aged YouTuber with big birds on my table. Who wouldn't want that under their tree? So go get a Christmas gift cameo from dad there's a link below in the description and i tell you your loved ones won't regret it or maybe they will i don't know i don't know but i'm a, I'm a third off till january 1st 2023 it's a bargain hello everybody and welcome to this exciting episode of whatever the hell i'm calling this series i'm going to call it something and today um excuse me i need to take some more of my breath spray now it will be more minty well anyway i was thinking of an idea for a wild and crazy video for YouTube. I'm like, let me see what the cheapest, what they consider, I should say, is the cheapest gaming PC on Amazon. And this is what it came, <laughs> this is what it came back with. The PC Treasure Box RGB Dell desktop computer. And I got it for 209 bucks. Now that sounds like a hell of a deal for a gaming PC. Uh, but we'll go more into the specs later, and uh, you'll realize how this was a bad decision for the average consumer to buy. But anyway, let's, uh, enough talk. Have at you. If you know where that's from, we can be friends. Have at you! Okay, so we open this up, and we have Boxception. Ah! Fragile, handle with care me with care. The only thing I'm getting, I don't even know if the top camera will focus, is, so I'm gonna put it in front of the front camera, is that it's Microsoft refurbished. I don't really know, okay, that's fine. I've tried a lot of refurbished things that aren't really refurbished, but sure, that's, don't know how that would benefit this, but great. So, of course it has the flimsiest tape ever, so I'm going to have to, really? Okay, I'm just gonna get these sharp objects. All right. So, let's start with the, I have this box down. I, all you're seeing is a box and not my face. So let's see, did they give a special gamer keyboard with this? Oh God, it's, it's, what is it? Stijabur, Bron, Stratra, it's S-T-G-A-U, B R O. I've never heard of that brand before. Is it? Does it have feet? Okay, we have feet. That's. They are the cheapest feeling feet. Ah, <laughs> uh, and they just flop right down. All right, God bless. Y you type. It's a typical, average, cheap, knockoff gaming keyboard. Nothing, nothing to see here. So we have, they don't even give a mouse? This is supposed to be like a whole gaming setup. Here's the cord they give. This cord, oh no, it's not, no, it's not new. It's not new, here's the cord. Great stuff, good times, very excited. Keep in mind, you can get an Xbox Series S for $250 as you're watching all this. Sear that into your skulls. Really? There's no... I, I just don't want to believe there's no mouse here. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Ah! Okay. There is a mouse. Here it is. Let's see. Let's see the... Edgy gamer mouse that they're giving with this. It's... It's exact... If they were going to give a mouse, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. It is like... Plastic, but it, it feels like it's about as durable as paper mache. Do they have <laughs> has look it has fake like screw bolts on the side to make it seem more more chad. Oh, at least it has a scroll wheel, so there we go. Which gives a little bit of feedback, which will probably wear out in a week. 
at most. The absolute cheapest gaming mouse you could possibly buy. But we're gonna use it. We are gonna use it. Why? Because I'm an asshole. Now, for the main event, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready for the ultimate gaming PC? Are you, which way is, all right, so that is, that is, that is down. Oh. I can't, dude. It's, yo, they literally, ah. Uh, what the hell is it came with a remote? Wait, it comes with a remote? Stop! Yo, it smells weird. It smells really weird. What is this? USB Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's sweet of them. And Bluetooth. They give you a uh this this unboxing is a complete disaster. They give you a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi adapter which hey that's yeah, cool and this is what oh that's another usb wi-fi why'd they give two usb wi-fi oh one's bluetooth and one's what really so there's two of the ports already taken up okay whatever well anyway this is the dell pc treasure box and someone went to an arts and crafts store lost their mind <laughs> and sprayed it with a bunch of sparkly silver paint. Okay, real quick, I'm an idiot. I forgot to give you the specs of this computer. For a processor, it has the Core i5-4570, which is four cores, four threads. So we're gonna have some bottlenecks there. It has 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory running at 1600 megahertz, and it has a 512 gigabyte, no name brand, solid state drive. So yes, it's a solid state drive, but don't expect fast speeds out of it, like at all. In some cases, it may be like a mechanical drive because it probably has no cash. Okay. Yeah, there is no, I mean, we have a PCIe slot. There's no dedicated graphics in this thing to be found. It's literally, this is amazing. This is literally just a office gaming PC that they spray painted, put some RGB lights in and uh, called it a day. And they think that some soccer mom out there, oh wait, isn't that something mean to say now? It's not politically correct. Oh yeah, soccer mom, um, I don't care. Is out like, oh my God, look, it's silver. They're gonna just love it. And they're gonna be able to play the Fortnites on here. <laughs> No, you won't. You won't. We're going to try. We're going to try. Uh, but I assure you, this is not a uh, Fortnite-capable computer. I don't even know if this thing is going to play CSGO. Okay, so let's take a look around the back here. You got two display port outs. You have mouse and keyboard PS2 connectors. That kind of shows the age here. <laughs> VGA output. So if you have an old VGA monitor, you're in luck. You got serial port here two high-speed USB 3.0 ports, four USB 2.0 ports. We have Ethernet here. Don't know if it's gigabit or not. And if you think they're going to tell you that on the website, <laughs> ha ha, um, might be. And then we have a microphone in and audio out. So, and then you have your power supply with your IEC connector for power there. Very exciting. Um, and it's silver all over. Silver, see? Silver. Silver, silver. It's like jewelry that an 80s rapper would wear from their neck. <laughs> How are they selling this as a gaming PC? Anyway, I'm gonna get it set up now, see its gaming chops, and then uh, let, let's have, I don't even know. Let's just have some fun. Let's just go and see where the hell we go with this thing. All right, so here is the cheapest Amazon gaming PC in action. And yeah, it may not even be able to game at 720p with any modern AAA title or almost any game in general. But can your friends Xbox Series S do this? Get it? The remote, there we go. Look at that. You may, you could sit here and go browse the web in style 
with LED lights. Because that's what you, who needs video games? And you can just change the color of the lights in your PC. Look, ooh, look, it's red now. Like that? <laughs> oh God, let's go. Let's run benchmarks, that's it. I'm gonna, and look, the keyboard lights up too. They probably spent all of $3 on the keyboard and mouse from wish.com. Look at it, it's lit up. The, the mouse is lit up and the mouse, the napkin that I have on my table that you can't see weighs more than it. All right, now it's time for benchmarks. Let's change it to another exciting, more festive color. There we go. I like, I like, I like the purplish blue color. All right, so this is the Unigen Superposition benchmark and we are running at 720p low Let, let's see how this performs let's go will it even start is the question that's the i got it to start yesterday but it was a it was a challenge i have msi afterburner running i don't know if it's gonna work all right unigen superposition benchmark uh 720p low can we get it to run this time with msi afterburner on here we go 13 frames a second 720p low this is the lowest preset that you could get ah on this benchmark gaming pc it's a gaming pc we are at up uh, uh, 10 frames a second oh dear god it's literally a slideshow. I'm actually surprised this is even running at all. Like, we're at nine frames. We are in single, single digit frames. But integrated graphics from a Haswell processor, which is ancient. Um, in a weird way, I'm impressed that this didn't just crash and not run at all. But uh, yeah, it's unplayable. And you can't play a game at 10 frames per second. Hey, so let's try Zombie Army 4. All right, so we don't have the Vulcan option. I don't know, Haswell processors do not support DirectX 12. Uh, so this probably shouldn't run at all. Vulcan is grayed out. Let's, let's see, can we even get this to boot up? Huh? Huh? No! <laughs> okay. Man, this is an awesome gaming PC. Oh wait, we got a we got a crash report here. Let me see what it says. I can't see from this far away. Unfortunately, Zombie Army 4 has encountered a problem. Well, no shit. All right, let's try Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Can we do? Does that have a DirectX 11 mode? If it's DirectX 12, it's not going to happen with Haswell. Oh dear God. All right, it's 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 loading up the game i'll give it the benefit of the doubt i don't think we'll find out does shadow of the tomb raider have a direct x11 mode i'm, I'm kind of hoping so because it won't run if it if it doesn't yes i'm sipping coffee I'll deal with it so shadow of the tomb raider lowest setting 720p direct x11 let's go oh man we are <laughs> in the title screen which is actually in-game visuals. It's not pre-rendered. We are at nine FPS right now. Again, the absolute lowest settings you could possibly get. Let's go to display and graphics. Oh man. Uh, yeah, 720p. Maybe if we turn down the resolution, let's turn down the resolution scale. Come on, let's go. Can we? Let's go to the lowest resolution scale we could possibly get, dude. <laughs> and we're still... All right, you know what? I'm going to give it a fighting chance. I'm going to give it a fighting chance. So V-Sync is off. Anti-aliasing. Anything that could be taxing. Off. Off. What is it? E to apply changes? Okay. Yes, I want the changes. We are... We're at a... Blistering 19 FPS graphics. We are at it's the lowest it could be. Let's just run the benchmark. Yo, look at her shirt. Look at her. At least it's 17 FPS with at like 240p, but still. Oh dear God. Yo, why? Why do they all look like they have army fatigues on? What is going on? Oh, this is incredible. 
And even with everything knocked down to the lowest settings, we are getting 16 FPS, 16. And it looks like what is with her, sh it's moving. Look at her shirt. Look at all their shirts. It looks like they have a bunch of cockroaches running over them. Yo, the pixels are the size of my nipples, which if you've seen me shirtless on my live stream, shout out to RTU stream, shameless plug, link below in the description to my secondary YouTube channel and Twitch channel. You've seen my nipples because I get shirtless quite a bit, but I don't, what is it? Like the lighting maybe that's causing the weird shadow effects? Like if you saw there was that beehive, it was doing the same thing. Now this final scene should be interesting. <laughs> oh no! Yo! It looks like they all have a disease. Average frame rate of 15 FPS. Ladies and gentlemen, that is unplayable. But can we play a game like Streets of Rage 4? Can we do some 2D gaming on here? Let's try that out. All right, so this is Streets of Rage 4 and we are already down to nine FPS. We are at the lowest settings with the resolution scaling at 50%. All right. And it's still, we're got down, down to 30 again. We are now down to 30. All right, let's go. We are at, it, it, we're at 43 FPS. It's kind of playable. I, it, it, I think it's amazing that it can't even get, it's a little laggy though, like hitting the inputs because this is supposed to be a six, this runs at 60 FPS on the Switch. Just keep that in mind. This runs at a higher native resolution at 60 FPS on Nintendo's semi handheld console. Here, we could barely get 50. It can't even play a Streets of Rage game. So let's try something else. Let's try an old banger. Let's try Half-Life 2. Can the Liberace machine, the Liberace gaming PC, play Half-Life 2? Let's find out. All right, now we're in some combat in Half-Life 2. And I'm sucking terribly right now, but besides for that, blow these up so I'm not. We're staying above like 90, goes down to 80 FPS a couple times. And I just hurt myself, I think. Yes, I did. All right, so Half-Life 2, 1080p, medium slash high settings. It's very playable, but this is a Direct X 9 game from 2004, so it better be. Oh look, I'm out of bullets and I need to break through these without killing myself. Okay, here we go. All right, Half-Life 2 is playable, but a potato could run Half-Life 2. This is not a gaming PC. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this thing. Now, let's bring this review home. Why are you not dying? Okay, so literally, as I sat down to record the final part of my review of this PC, someone sent me a text message and said, hey Rich, it looks like Linus Tech Tips had the same idea and he got the same exact computer from Amazon and reviewed it. F All right, so beyond that, you saw the results. Games, any AAA game, if it even does run, runs at single digits or low teens. The only game that was truly playable was Half-Life 2 and I guess you could say Streets of Rage 4, but in my opinion it wasn't because it wasn't maintaining 60 FPS. This isn't a gaming PC. This is literally just an office computer that they bought in bulk probably for 50 bucks each. They spray painted them, they put cheap LED lights in them, and they said, hey, we could flip these for a little bit over 200 bucks. This is $209. You could buy an Xbox Series S for about 40 to 50 bucks more. That could play everything AAA right now and will absolutely destroy this. It has eight, I can't even measure how much more power it has than this. But 
I'll end with a silver lining, not because this is silver. Can I make this into a gaming PC? I got something on order that we could turn this around and make, I'm gonna call it the Liberace machine. Can we turn the Liberace machine into a gaming beast? No, but we can make it actually play AAA games. And it'll still be silver and cool looking. Stay tuned for part two. Goddamn Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> <laughs>